Okay, so where are we going to go? I don't know. I mean, this is, this, it's a bit of a question that lots of aviators face all the time, isn't it? We, we've got an aeroplane, we've got the weather, and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, where? Good point. Let's get the aeroplane out and find out. Okay, great. A little bit turbulent today. Yeah, a little bit. Bristol was giving 17, gusting 23, I think. Okay. A few showers about as well. Aren't there? Yeah. Just make sure we avoid Queen Consort Camilla. Yes. All right. So that little bit about where we're going to go was a little bit contrived, and it was. It was basically giving us a chance to talk about the uh, upcoming feature in Flyer, which is the top 10 UK flyouts in 2023. Well, it's, it's, even. Uh, well, it's, um, it's top, 10, top 10 aviation events for 2023, so it includes uh, a few overseas. Yeah, so let's talk about the top 10 aviation events for 2023. So there's at least 10 things that you don't need to think, get into the aeroplane, go, where am I going to go flying today? That's it. So, probably should kick off with the first two big overseas ones. Yeah, and they're possibly ones that you might not fly to unless you're in a commercial airliner. Though, obviously, Aero is in Germany. It's not a million miles away. No, absolutely. And we have actually flown into both. We flew to Aero. I think we've flown into Aero two or three times. And it's yep. a pretty easy flight. It's, yep. uh, it, you need to, they've got a slightly strange slot booking system. Yep. Or you can land somewhere else and get a ferry over. You can land at Constance, which is, which is fine. Um, but it's even if you don't fly in, it's a great place to fly to. It's a great place to visit one way or the other. Everybody should go there. Yeah, in Europe. yeah, good event. Um, not many people have flown to Oshkosh. You have, haven't you? In this very aeroplane. <laughs> um, I have to say, I'm very glad I did it. I'm not planning to do it again in a single. Um, and realistically speaking, maybe I'll make a video one day on what it actually costs to fly to Oshkosh. But realistically speaking, um, you could probably buy yourself a first-class ticket uh, return to Chicago. Were there, were there many GNTs served in this there cabin? Were, there were zero there GNTs <laughs> served in the cabin. They were quite long legs, which are like one, sometimes like seven, eight-hour legs. And, right. And I kind of rewarded myself with a little baby bell cheese every hour or something, <laughs> which is kind of like, which is surprisingly good, actually. Um, but yeah, maybe if, if, if you want to hear more about the flight to Oshkosh, then... Um, Leave a, leave a thing in the comments and let us know. We That's might, it, we yeah. Might e make one of those. Enough comments, maybe we can we can motivate him to talk about that. Talking of big events, um, it's it's a, a real up and coming one and uh, has developed year on year, but there's obviously Slate Kosh as well, Absolutely. which is, uh, and it's, it's, it's one of the biggest fly ins. I went to it last year, it was tremendous um, across two days on a weekend in July. I think this year it's, um, let me just check the dates. It is the um, 7th to the 9th of July. Oh, we've got here. So Friday to Sunday, so three days. Three days. And that's at Slate, um, Slate Airfield up in Shropshire. Shropshire? Herefordshire. No, Shropshire. Shropshire, yeah. Shropshire. Um, yeah. And it's just, you know, it's you'll go there and it's it's an airfield that's mostly run by, um, by young aviators. Um, it's a real breath of fresh air. Um, uh, you won't won't see many beards around. No, I was um, going to say, Slape is kind of fast becoming a, a real kind of buzzy place, yeah. and place to go, isn't it? So, yeah, 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 real hotbed for uh, for general aviation activity. So um, yeah, definitely, if you do one event in the UK this year, put Slape Kosh in your diary. Absolutely. Now, another one of my favourites, yeah. but it's, it's kind of not necessarily open to everyone, uh, is Lundy. Lundkosh. Lundkosh, and, and I think that's a that's a trademark name that we gave it did when you, we went. Do you think it? the Osh thing is becoming a little <laughs> bit overused? Maybe, yes. Maybe, yeah. yeah. But but Lundy Sunday, it's a fly-in on uh, Lundy Island, uh, out in the Bristol Channel. It's run by Pete White, who uh, who does all sorts of stuff in the uh, in the aviation world. Mainly known for being a big uh, big figure in the Ronca Club of the UK. Yeah. Um, and you can it's it's PPR um, limited numbers because obviously not much space. Um, what would you say, because obviously you've flown in a bunch, you've taken the 180, haven't you? I've taken it's the 180 and I've taken the 182 into, have into, you? into Lundy. I mean, Lundy is a challenging strip, but if you want to go to Lundy, then that weekend is probably the best time. 
because they would have walked the runway and, yeah. and dealt with it. It's still not like a super smooth runway. No, but no, it, it won't so have too many new rabbit holes or rocks or stuff. Yeah, in it, but it, is, but it is definitely it's a it's a pick your pick your aeroplane, um, pick your piloting skills on the day. You, you really want to take your A game. Um, yeah. If you're going to Lundy, be prepared. But it is a fantastic experience. There's nothing else to compare um, to that flying, really. It's no, amazing. It, it's, it's brilliant. It, if it's your first time to Lundy, then that flying's a really good chance to, to go and take a look. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, no, obviously being stuck out in the channel as it is, the, the weather can be interesting in Lundy, as we know. Oh yeah. Well, um, the, the last well the last time you and I went, it was raining on one side of the island, not on the other, wasn't it? Yeah. And yeah. it's not a big island. <laughs> No. So uh, yeah, no challenging. Um, not you know perhaps not one for your first trip, no. but definitely not one for your first. No, first and if, trip. It, if if you're in you know if you want to do it but you're in doubt you know talk to maybe uh, talk to Pete. Talk to Pete. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and get and uh, get some idea. But um, yeah, it, it's it is a great great event if you're lucky enough to get a slot and you're well prepared then you we yeah you will have a great time. I've I've got another overseas one. Yeah. It's, a, it's an event that I've always wanted to go to, but I've never managed it yet. Yeah. Um, and maybe this year is the year when I'll make it, which is the, I think it's actually called the Mondial de l'ULM, and it's at Blois. Oh, the French um, yeah. Show. Yeah. It's, it's always kind of taken place at the same weekend as the LAA rally, or the LAA, yes. whatever that's been called. Yeah. Um, which, which is which is why I've never been. <laughs> um, but I'm told it's an amazing event, really good atmosphere. Yeah. Um, and I really, really want to get there. Uh, yeah. This time. And the, the French ultralight um, community, well, is vibrant. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. vibrant. Yeah, absolutely. So where else have we got then? Um, let me check the list. Um, so I won't, won't. I'll save a few surprises. Um, but uh, one of the things that is on the list, the Easter summer fly-in. Absolutely. Uh, on the 24th of June, which is the longest, so it's billed as the longest day at a beautiful airfield. I'm going to try and get to that, because Easter, David Eats does an amazing job of promoting Easter, and it's a, it's a, it looks just stunning. And I'm definitely, definitely on my list of places to get to. Yeah. I tried to get there last year, but failed. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, there's, um, I know, Dad. I think Dave's, uh, it's something that Dave picked to go on, there's a hangar bash at Brayton, I know there's another great fun place to go, um, and uh, so they're having a 1940s themed celebration of aviation, uh, that's on the 8th of July. Yep, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, and we should probably address the elephant in the room, I haven't got my little elephant model, <laughs> which is, do we yet know whether there's going to be an LAA event this year? Um, from, oh, obviously I, I, I can... Yeah, I can stick an LAA hat on a little bit. At the moment, there is no, but there's still some planning and thought about if there's going to be an event. Um, I think I could probably say that it's looking like there probably won't be an LAA rally of the type that we know. Um, there might be another grassroots fly-in venue still to be confirmed. There's still a lot. Is it's one of those things LAA is kind of finding their feet. Um, I obviously not having Cywell to go to now. Um, it's kind of still trying to find a, a venue to match um, the, so uh, the expectations of that. A, a very definite event. watch this space. It's a it's a watch this space. LA, you know, LA. It's recognised that it's an event that everyone loves going to, and if they can make it happen, they will. But um, maybe it might take a year to just get a, a you know find another solid footing for that. But um, there'll probably be a, a fill-in event, and there is going to be. Um, an LAA at home day at to Western. Um, I think it's the um, the 13th and 14th, or the 14th and 15th of May. Um, double check that, just in case I got that wrong. Yep. Um, but there's um, but to Western and LAA are going to host um, an at-home fly-in uh, where you can fly in and visit the LAA at HQ, and that's that'll be something new and fun, um, and um, definitely worth uh, worth checking out. So. Okay, well we'll put that. We'll, we'll try and put links to all of this stuff in the comments. Yeah, um, and correct any dates if we've managed correct. to get it wrong. Yeah, which is you know entirely, <laughs> entirely, entirely possible. possible. Um, so uh, talking of comments, we need you to comment. It really helps us. Um, and so put some comments in your favourite events, the events you'd like to go to, events you'd like to see us at, um, and anything else that you happen to see. If you think we're flying rubbishly at the moment, uh, have to say it's looking a little bit. It's murky over there, isn't it? It is, it's a bit murky, and um, I'm pretty bumpy today. I'm I'm pretty bumpy. Bris uh, Bristol was giving um, what, something like 50 gusting 20 odd. So well, let's, uh, let's see what the Bristol ATIS is. Uh, 
So that's that's the um, the ten ten great fly-ins for uh, for 2023. Um, definitely check that out. Yeah, um, so that'll be up in an upcoming issue of Flyer out probably next, out probably next week. Next week, yeah. yeah. Or with, and what day is it today then? Like, are we, uh, it's the wait, it will be. Yeah, it will be a week uh, a week tomorrow, I think. Uh, the the PDF compilation will be out. So um, <laughs> and the feature will probably be online a little bit ahead of that. Yeah. So and the video might even be there as well. Um, so yeah, uh, in order to read that, you'll. You can have it as one of your three free features per month, or alternatively, and better still, you can join the Flyer Club. It costs five pounds a month. For that five pounds, you get access to all of our content, all of the free landing fees all year. You get access to a monthly webinar, a special tablet. You get access to a members exclusive live screen, live stream, yeah, <laughs> live stream on a Wednesday, which we're going to go and do later on this afternoon. Yeah, uh, and all sorts of other bits and pieces. So. Good. Right, in that case, I think we'll sign off from this top 10 thing. Yeah, like. Try and get that video up. Don't right. forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, absolutely. Hit, hit the bell. Time to go and see if we can land. Yeah, well, why not? That's always. That's always. I always find if you can add a landing to a takeoff, <laughs> and the rest of the flying bit is a guarantee for success. Yeah. This is kind of worse weather than I imagined it would be when I looked at the forecast this morning. Yeah. I, I mean, it's still not bad. You've still got 6 That's or 7k, but this. Looks like some rain in the air over there. It's almost like it's waiting for a clickbaity video headline. It's like, did Ed and Ian survive? We learned it in, a <laughs> in wind. We learned it in wind. <laughs> yeah. It's quite choppy, turbulent. Yeah. I think we'll take a longer final today. Yeah. Just to try and get things sorted out. Yeah, why not? I want to traffic six eight one eight rescue down. Wind left hand two eight one swing. Check A away. Check A away. Check A away. Check A away. Caution. Too slow. Right, all right. Yeah, very good. Clear, prop. Like. Comment. Subscribe.